So Nancy, we're going to discuss the difference between threats and harassment today, okay? Because you're not understanding the words that I'm typing. So threatening somebody would be, you know, I'm going to harm you or hurt you in some way, okay? Harassment comes in the fact that I don't want to hear from you. Get the fuck off my page. Okay, you've been told several times and you screwed up with the Andrea East profile because in when that message that you sent me when I came back from Phoenix visiting people that are none of your fucking business, um, it's really amazing that I get that message at, let's see, be 845 Eastern time on a Monday when you're at work. So, like I said, either you're playing at your computer on your phone, harassing people through fake accounts, or you're on your work computer, which is why I called your employer. You're once again harassing me, and I've told you to leave me the fuck alone numerous times, and I have those messages where I've said, leave me alone. Do not contact me anymore. You did stalk my husband because Andrea East was you. You picked up where you left off, with your ex-husband and his wife. Two days later, after you ceased harassing them, is when my husband and I got married. And then you sent that Andrea East message to Rebecca. I have that, I posted it, okay? Um, you gave away a lot of information in the message that you sent when I got back from Phoenix that indicated it was you. And it didn't take long to find you either. And now you're all over my page with your crazy sister, just like you did to the last lady, thinking I'm gonna give a fuck. I don't, I don't care. What I care about is my husband's sanity. And I will do whatever I have to, to make sure it stays that way. But you are no friend of his and he knows it. He doesn't wanna have to deal with the fact that one other person let him down, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you keep up this drama, he will cut you out of his life because he doesn't want to deal with this shit anymore. And if it means losing somebody else, you're definitely, if he can cut his wife out, he can cut you out. So I'd watch yourself, sweetheart, because you're going to lose yourself a friend, so-called friend. And you are not his best friend. No, you are not. His best friend lives in home with him. Daniel, his battle buddy, matter of fact, the ringtone on his phone is, your motherfucking best friend's calling. Guess who doesn't have that ringtone? Nancy Ducci. And you never will, sweetheart, nor will you have the status of wife or soulmate. So quit telling people that Michael is your soulmate because he isn't. You don't even understand him. He looks down on people because they think he's stupid or something and they take him for a fool. And there's very few people in his life that live up to his standards. He can't even live up to his own standards. So I don't know who you think you are. And another thing, Nancy. Talking about Travis, Michael put it on the fucking internet himself. So don't you fucking dare sit there and ridicule me for talking about it when my husband is the one who put it out there. No, honey, it don't work that way. You're not going to try and turn tables on me that my husband did himself. Where the hell do you think the information came from? The internet. I mean, you don't even make sense anymore. I'm definitely not manic, but I'm definitely over your shit, woman. You're fucking nuts. You are Emma Smith, and you are Andrea East, especially the Andrea East profile, because you fucked up with that profile. Had you just left me alone and not messaged me from that profile, we wouldn't be here right now. But you fucked up because what you did is you sent a message under that profile acting like you were somebody from my past and running me down about how I've ruined people's lives. Um, my kids' fathers are on my Facebook page along with their family members who have sent me messages of support in dealing with all this because they know that this is not true. So you can sit there and you're the only one running your mouth, Nancy. You're the only one. Um, other people have enough balls to bring it to my attention or to say something to my face or at least underneath their own name. But when you're gonna 
tell people and to watch out because Misty's ruined people's lives, I'd like an example, bitch. Because the only life I'm going to ruin is yours if you keep harassing me. Harassing. So you can quit using the word threat because I'm not saying that. You are harassing me. Stay off my page. Don't create another fake profile for me to turn into the police because they are traceable. You have to verify those email addresses some way, you nitwit. I, I know my way around a computer, Nancy. Um, thanks to my buddy Gahagan. Thanks, Dan. Um, I'm really handy with digging through a computer. I might not like to do it because this shit causes me a headache, but that does not mean I am not capable of it. So knock it off. Stay off my page. Don't worry about what I'm saying. Just mind your own business and this will go away. You put yourself in this situation, sweetheart, and uh, you can remove yourself very easily by just shut the fuck up. Actually, ask Michael for that shut the fuck up video that he showed the kids. Oh, another reminder of uh, the wonderful parenting skills that my husband has taught his son. I'll have to pull that video up from the security camera because I have it and I'll take that to court too. Um, about talking about the police and how you should shut the fuck up. He replayed it over and over again until the kids got sick of hearing it. And apparently he was too worried about Travis not being able to shut the fuck up at school that we now had to have that GoFundMe account. Which, when I went back and further read, Michael, you still have lots of spelling errors, honey. Um, you're missing words. I'm getting ready to, like, check it in red and put it back up there. Um, spell check, babe. Spell check. Grammar check. It's all part of Microsoft Word. Use it before you post things because you sound illiterate. Um, but no, harassment is bothering somebody unwantedly over and over again. And Nancy's sending me the pictures off my husband's Facebook page about child abuse and telling them that they're about me. And then you and him both can't cite HIPAA laws. And you fucked up there. HIPAA has to do with identification of a patient through information. And Michael signed a release form for me to be able to be in treatment with him and Lindsay. So I do have a right. I don't know what the hell you people are thinking. I don't. You're sad, you're pathetic, and you need to get a life. I'm going to go back to live in mine because you people don't fucking matter. But keep entertaining me with your bullshit because it just goes on to another police report. Stay off my page and mind your own fucking business. You want to boo-hoo to somebody? Boo-hoo to your best friend. Your soulmate. <laughs> Pathetic bitch.